A virus crossing from an animal to a human is always bad news. And today we got some. Two people in California have been diagnosed with bird flu. Max Darrow has the reaction from an infectious disease expert. Bird flu has crossed over to mammals and is sweeping through dairy herds in the Central Valley. And now the California Department of Public Health and CDC are investigating what may be the third human infection in the state. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is an infectious disease expert at UCSF. The good side is that it's very low risk still to the general public. The bad side is that every time there's a transmission event, that's a chance for the virus to evolve. And the reason why we are worried about bird flu is that humans haven't really seen a lot of it. And when they do, their antibodies are not equipped to deal with it. The DPH says the two confirmed and one suspected bird flu or H5N1 cases are all in Central Valley individuals who had contact with infected dairy cattle. As of the last week of September, the California Department of Food and Agriculture said bird flu has infected 34 herds in the Central Valley. Larry Hayworth is a third generation farmer in Manteca. As every uh, other operator in the industry is, we're, we are worried about it. It's very low risk to the general population uh, at this point, but in the big picture, we have to worry about emerging pandemics and be very curious, but not panic by it. Although the seasonal flu shot does not protect against bird flu, Dr. Chin Hong says people getting flu shots will make it harder for the virus to mutate. So if uh, bird flu gets into somebody who has a regular human influenza, they can swap genes and then make a mutant, which can then uh, be more serious for the general population. According to the DPH, the people who got sick experienced mild symptoms and did not require hospitalization. Dr. Stell says people should be very careful around raw and unpasteurized milk products because that's one way the virus can spread to humans. Andrea?